right, so let's uh, try and get this throne chair finished today. Okay, so today's been a kind of a day I've been dreading. So what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to have to pull this whole chair apart. I got a picture of a flower I got off last. It's like a sunflower, okay? So I'm going to use my uh, projector to put this on the back, trace it out. And then I'm going to have like vines coming around here with some big leaves, like tropic leaves, whatever. I figured, I googled the Irish flower last night, but I figured my brother's wife loves the sunflower the most, so I'm going to put, put it on here for, to, for her too, because she's part of his team, right? So anyways, uh, I get, I'll get the flower on and uh, get the vines drawn out. I'm probably going to have to take this chair apart because it may, will make it a lot easier for me to do the undercuts with the chainsaw. So yeah, okay. Talk, see you in about 5 billion years. This one here is Wi-Fi, see? Now I just got to pull up the flower petal. You can stand it sideways too to make them longer. Anyways. Okay, so this is the uh, one that I used here. Um... It's fairly simple to use. It's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I believe I got this down in my Amazon store. So now you can see the flower on here. Also, guys, I'm recording through a headset right now. Tell me if it's better because I know those if the, the cars aren't that loud on the freeway behind me, but in the videos they seem loud. So does this seem better with the headset on? It's just more of a pain in the butt. So now what I'm going to do is go along with my chainsaw and uh, trace out the lines. I guess you can see like there's big flowers. I don't know if you can see, but like here's a big flower petal. There's one down there. Then there'll be uh, one here, one up there. Uh, see the vine comes here, wraps around, flower petal there, and then one underneath too. So anyways, I guess I should just, I'm just gonna do as much outlines as I can. So before I take it apart, I don't get confused, right? Just so you guys know, I'm doing it with my still 193MS rear handle with a still dime tip kiving bar. Leave your chains loose. This is maybe a little bit too loose. I'm not too sure. I'm not a pro. Steel toe boots, uh, chainsaw safety pants, and uh, here protection. Okay, let's get on. I'm going to turn on the music and start carving. Okay, so I got most of the carving done here. 
Like I tried my very best not to uh, have to take this apart. But you know what? In all honesty, I'm only going to be able to clean it up really good when I take it apart. Because I'm not lying on my belly to cut this stuff under here. See a leaf comes up here. One comes up here. Uh, where's another leaf? There's a big leaf down there. Yeah, I'm not lying on my belly. So this sucker's coming apart. And after just carve Rob saw my uh, video yesterday, he's like, I should round the arms off a bit so it looks more like a throne chair. There you go, Rob. I did the cut. Now I'll round them off after. Yep. So you guys, another thing too I want to say, I never claimed to be a pro chainsaw carver because if I what, did claim to be a pro chainsaw carver, I'd be a self-proclaimed pro chainsaw carver. And I'm just not that guy. I'm Johnson the freaking hack. You guys know that. So, right, Steve? Kenobuzora? Um, so, you guys that want to get into chainsaw carving, learn how to file your chains properly. I use a Dremel because your day goes a lot better when your chains are sharp. That's for sure. You know, because all in here, my, I knew my chain was dull. So all in here, there was barnacles and little rocks and pebbles from the beach and stuff. Because it's a piece of driftwood, right? So I took it out there. Now I got to sharpen my chain, my uh, thing. Okay. You guys want me to just make a video about how I sharpen my chainsaw to get all the haters to leave a comment? Because I will, because I don't give a crap. I knew I could make a cool eagle head out of that stump. I'm sure if Steve Kanzora had it or somebody like Ryan Cook, they'd make it a dragon head, but I just haven't done any dragon heads yet. Okay, so it still hasn't rained yet. Um, I got this piece here, like the cut and the, the feathering it away, pretty well done. But this piece is a lot harder to do than this side because this branch coming off, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to see what it, what's going on. I, I don't know. When I'm carving this outside of this wood, this white wood, the water wood, man, water's splashing me. I'm getting soaked. So now, I got, now, look how clean this one is already, but I'm going to clean it up more, okay? All right. Okay, so, I'm not carving this to go into a freaking carving show or a competition, okay? I'm not trying to build a rocket ship here. So it's all carved out. The leaves kind of have some details in it. This wood is soaking wet. Soaking wet. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, finish this today. What I'm going to try and do is a bit is just hit it with my uh, the sander here. It's like 36 grit or something. A four inch disc. Sanding disc with a backing pad. But when you're doing wet wood with this, they really plug up. So... If it does, if this doesn't sound sound it good, well, I'm just gonna like, torch it, and I'll have to give it like a not torch, just kind of warm up the outside, and uh, friggin' leave it sit for a week to dry out because I'm telling you, it's soaking wet. Okay, so it's raining a bit. I think it's been about two hours since I last filmed. So uh, I don't know if you can see, but I'm um, too sore to bend over um ain't no spring chicken i cut there out i cut right uh, there out so it doesn't sit flat there's two legs right so one here one there on both sides this isn't a very nice piece of wood to work with that's for sure wide grain so it's probably sequoia that's what it probably is but there you can see the le the leaves I still have to come back and detail the vine 
They put some more details in the leaves. You guys think I should paint them? I'd love to read it in the comments. If I should paint these leaves green in the vine or what color I should paint the stuff. I'm gonna, I've decided that I'm gonna finish this off with spar varnish, okay? It's the clearest stuff there is. So this one, there you go, Rob. It's more rounded like a throne, are you happy? Oh man, that's lots of work. You know, you guys, when you do like the show Sugi Ban, when I, I know this is gonna go so dark when I put my finish on it, right? I hit it more on the, on the high points, right? So it, it's, it's, it gives the effect it's brighter, you know, it's just, uh, whatever. See here, I hit it more. Brighter here. This one too, you Rob, there you go, it's like a throne. Kinda, sorta. So let me get these set up so you so we can get a big visual. I'm not gonna get the chair. I'm not gonna get the chair back up today. You see this? See this mark here? It looks like I need to cut it out. But it's because I burnt it, right? And I started sounding it here and I was like, stop Jordy, you're tired, you're done. Because you know what? I'm not lying. Like I said, I'm no spring chicken. I haven't even finished the back flower on this one. So I'm gonna give this a couple days rest, let it really dry out. Maybe come back, burn burn all here once more. All the outside, all the inside of it. And then clean it up. But what color should I paint these flowers? I mean, our uh, leaves and the stalks. But anyways, let me get it set up. I'm not gonna be able to set it up back as a throne today. But I'll just set up the two sides. One, two, and I'll set up the middle so it kind of, you see, kind of see the big picture of it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this part of the video to uh, say hi to Just Carve Rob. I'm sitting here in my little chair. I can hardly move. My back's killing me. He's the one that gave me the idea for these vines and and flowers. I mean, uh, leaves. I'm not bitching. I'm not whining, but my back's sore. I'm sore. I'm 47 years old. I, like I said, I'm not no spring chicken. So, anyways, damn you, Just Carve Rob. Damn you, Jess Carve Rob. Okay, well, I guess I should get up. I got the sawdust swept into here and over there. Oh, oh okay. So, I think I just might leave it black and just put the friggin' stuff over top of it, the spar varnish. Why not? In here, it's really butchy. I just left it. I don't care. I'm still undecided if I want to carve something on this face or not. Should I carve a wood spirit on here? What do you guys think? Like uh, right here? This beard here is going this way and stuff. I still got to finish the back. So here's a full visual. There's a leaf right there, and there's a leaf uh, up inside there too, so it looks kind of plain right there, like I should have a leaf coming off, off here, but there's a little stump thing in there, so screw it. I'll clean it up, I still got to texture all the, the vines and stuff, put texture in it. So what color should I paint the leaves, a different color green than shamrocks? Because they need to be painted. Oh, I'm sore, man. Anyways, that's it. That's it for today. Sorry I'm not sitting in the throne like I normally do. But uh, I'm going to give this a, a couple day rest. I'm going to do a live carving on YouTube tomorrow for Friday. Maybe even Saturday. And um, that's about it for today. One, two, three, four. That's got five leaves. One in there, two, three, four, five, six. A lot of work. Uh, a lot of work. Anyway, so the next video, I think I'll be finishing this chair. 
and this I'm gonna be able to it's not it's still heavy it's about 700 pounds and I moved about 300 pounds worth of wood but I didn't tilt it back in video but once I got the seat back on I hope I can get it back together I could tilt it back so I'm gonna put the finish and everything on it here like two or three coats of the spar varnish and then take it to my brother and I can take it in one piece I'll just, I'll just screw a board up on the bottom and yeah I'll be able to take it over there on a dolly Okay, that's enough. See you guys later. Talk to you soon. Hope you're good. Okay, bye. Damn you, Rob.